I Show Speed has officially sold his soul to the devil. Uh huh. Paradox to the moon. <laughs> Paradox to the moon, baby. <laughs> no, God, please, no, no! Out tomorrow, 11 a.m. I thought the days where influencers take large sums of money to promote blatant NFT rug pulls and crypto pump and dumps were past us. However, I've been proven wrong by speed. I'm gonna be live at Paradox Metaverse Crypto, and I'm gonna be playing the game, and I'm gonna be buying my first crypto. Let's go. Who I genuinely believed up until today had the potential to be the most popular content creator on the planet one day. It is almost 2023 now, and these filthy, greedy pigs we normal humans refer to as influencers are still consensually having their own followers get financially ruined as a result of the things they promote just so speed could now buy a 6,000 square foot house instead of a 5,500 square foot house. Now, just to give you a quick rundown, essentially Speed has been promoting what looks to be the most stereotypical NFT and crypto scam of all time. And we can pull up, so you guys have seven different like avenues, to me, a lot of them remind me a lot of basically Ponzi schemes, to be quite honest with you. Like for instance, yeah. your Parapad, where I can get 20% a year or eight to 10% a year when I stake my Para, or my Paradow, where I can get 10% a year in returns. Or my para coin, where I can get what is what would you say? Like it, I have to stake it for twenty eight to two thousand eight hundred eighty eight days, and it turns into P save, a virtual currency. And as long as I stake it, then I get like this return on my investment based on this ridiculous flow chart. I mean, what is it you guys are trying to sell? I'm looking at your actual white paper and I'm saying this is ludicrous. However, this one is truly the worst of the worst, given the fact that the founders are using a literal child as their main marketing tool, who also has an audience consisting of primarily children. And as we know, children are the easiest to manipulate and influence. The name of this project is called Paradox, led by founder Amio Talio. What's the most you made in one day? In one day? Yeah. What, what can we say? 1.2 in 1. 6 2 minutes. million in 6 minutes. Not the cap. But the 1.4 was pretty good as well. That was like, that was about 12, 12 hours, 12 hours. So 1.4 million. How, how'd you make that? Of crypto. Amio decided to actually bring Speed's hero, Cristiano Ronaldo, to surprise him and promote his scam NFT project even further. Oh, open your eyes. Speed, welcome. Ah! <laughs> okay. Ronaldo! Just kidding, that's Christian Ronald. He even makes sure to promote his scam right before artificially creating this viral moment. Ready? I'm ready. Guys, Paradox Crypto to the moon. Oh! If you were unsure whether or not we live in a simulation, this confirms it. Amio actually has a Wiki Alpha page. Yes, you heard that right, Wiki Alpha. That's how you know someone is a scammer, when they have a Wiki Alpha page that's clearly written by themselves. Anyways, Paradox has not been rug pulled yet, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is not 110% confirmed to be a scam, but it will be. If you want to push back on the fact that this project will not turn out to be a scam, invest $1,000 in this scam right this second. You won't because deep down most normal humans can acknowledge the fact that 99.9% .9 of these crypto and NFT projects promoted by influencers have no actual value aside from hoping that someone is willing to pay more for whatever garbage you bought in the near future. I'm basing this on the past three years where we've seen influencers like Aiden Ross being paid to promote what are blatant scams in exchange for large sums of money. I got paid money to promote a pump and dump. <laughs> got it. The primary issue I have with influencers promoting scams is that influencers, specifically very popular ones like Logan Paul, Dink doink, you're my favorite coin. Want you to dink on my face. Take a doink on my chest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I show speed. Repeat after me. Paradox crypto to the moon. Paradox crypto to the moon. To the moon! Dean! 
is that these guys literally produce more income in a month than certain towns in the United States do, regardless of whether they promote an NFT rug pull or not. To put this into perspective, I show speed most likely makes more in a year than his mother has made in her whole lifetime. Yet, these guys are so greedy that they're willing to risk their entire reputation just to get that bag. They are willing to risk it all because what happens is that two weeks after the project gets rug pulled, just like Logan Paul did with Dink Doink, we'll all forget about it and never talk about it again. But you know who won't forget about it? Those single fathers who make 3000 a month, trying to make ends meet, who are trying to get rich quick, based on that trust that these influencers have built into their followers over time, who lose thousands based on that trust. Or little 15 year old Timmy who steals his mom's credit card just to get rug pulled by this absolute nerd Amio. I have made more money in the last two, three weeks. <laughs> now, it's not just based on past projects that I'm alleging that this paradox will be a scam. It's also based on the fact that this NFT project has some sort of game where the founder, Amio, on video, claims to have spent $10 million on this project in total. You spent $10 million on this project. Look at this game. If this game in 2022 costs you more than a hundred thousand dollars to make, stop it. Get some help. Using Unreal Engine 5, which is free, spending $10 million on this garbage is a lie in every possible way, regardless of how we're alleging it's been spent. The supposed utility of this game is literally getting a skin in this game that the founders have made. Look at how bad this game looks. If you look at this game and think, oh, this game looks so fun, unsubscribe right now. It makes no sense to buy into this NFT project or really any NFT project just so you can play some garbage game with no replay value. If you want to play video games, there is an abundance of amazing video games that you can play on any console or a PC. You can play Elden Ring, The New God of War, GTA 5, NBA 2K23, Skyrim, all for less than one third of the cost of one skin in this objectively bad game. Even Warzone 2 just came out yesterday, which I will be dropping a review on, but that game is free. And even if you want a skin or two, it costs one tenth of what one skin in this trash game costs. If you want to challenge me on that point, go play this game whenever it comes out. I guarantee within an hour you get bored. If all of your value is stored into a video game that could never be even one eighth as fun of what some of these trillion dollar gaming corporations could create, your project will never succeed financially over an extended period of time. That's just the fact of the matter, which is why they have to pay people like iShowSpeed an exorbitant amount of money to quickly raise the price of these hideous NFTs so the founder can quickly rug pull it shortly after. Does that make sense? And I know for a fact, based on the three years of experience we now have of various influencers scamming their own fans via NFT rug pulls, that this Paradox NFT garbage is no different at all from all of those other projects. Back to speed. Influencers are not dumb for the most part. Speaking from experience, it is very difficult to get famous on YouTube or Twitch or just have an online presence in general. Bruh. And Speed, who I actually really liked prior to him shilling some ridiculous NFT project, is not an idiot despite what people think. He is literally one of the best YouTube actors I've ever seen in the 10 years I've been on this platform. Personally, I don't watch any live streams, but I do come across some clips every now and then, and I used to enjoy watching some of those clips. Like I said before, Speed has the potential to be one of the most famous content creators on the planet. He went to the Sidemen charity match at the age of 17 and literally stole the show. Everyone was chanting his name. To risk all that trust that he's built into his audience for a quick bag when you're already rich is just ridiculous. And to be honest, at a certain point, we have to put some, not all of the blame, on the audience. I think supporting someone who's knowingly willing to scam any one of their own fans, regardless of what that person's financial situation is, is just as bad on the viewer's side as it is on the creator's side. 
I used to be a fan of the Impulsive podcast, however, after I made a video exposing all of Logan Paul's blatant NFT and crypto scams, there is no way I'll ever support that guy in any possible way. That's just where I draw the line, because again, you don't know who you're scamming and what that person's financial situation is. Now, Speed is not comparable in this situation to Logan. Logan did numerous NFT and crypto scams, but I'm just saying we can't allow content creators to keep getting away with this garbage. We can't. Give them the pushback they deserve when they promote unethical things. Call them out. Speed is 17. He's not an adult but he knows 110% what he was getting into prior to agreeing to do this live stream in exchange for money. Speed was not tricked into doing this or manipulated or this was just his manager's decision. He's not dumb. For anyone to be as successful as he is at such a young age, you have to be at least somewhat smart. The only thing that separates you from 18 at that age is real world experience, which Speed has plenty of. He knew what he was getting into, for sure. It's just that he was willing to put money above morals and integrity. And I would like to address something before we end the video. I have absolutely no problem with influencers making money. It is very hard to build an audience of people who trust you and like you online, specifically given how much competition there is in the content creation space. Influencers can make all the money they want. Just do it in an honest and ethical way. In today's world, it seems like these influencers all get famous and instantly lose all sense of integrity that they once had when they were one of us, a normal person. And I can assure you, as a normal human, who I believe was raised the right way as a child, if I ever went on to promote something like FTX or some random NFT rug pull like Speed is doing right now, there is no way I would be able to sleep at night knowing I just promoted something that could potentially lose my own followers money without providing any value in return. If you want to promote some random underwear brand who sent you like 5k to do an IG promo, go ahead. I have no problem with it as long as you've tested the product personally and see actual real world value in it. Raid Shadow Legends, Skillshare, SeatGeek, the whole nine. Make your money. Everyone deserves to take advantage of the fruits of their labor, specifically something as difficult in succeeding at as content creation and entertaining thousands of human beings on a daily basis and making their days better. And if you're homeless or like a heroin addict or a gambling addict, I get promoting scams. But if you have more money than you know what to do with and you're just a normal, sober person going out of your way to promote what is blatantly a scam, you are objectively not a good person. You lack morals, you lack character and empathy, and these filthy, greedy pigs need to be called out for their actions of losing their own followers' money. After everything I've just said, if you genuinely believe this project is not going to be a rug pull or a scam, go on their website right this second. It's called paradoxmeta.io and invest every single dollar you have and come back to this video in three months and tell me exactly how much money you've lost. That's just what I think. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you made it all the way till the end, I hope you all have a great day. <laughs>